Oops. Charcoal from my last video. Watch it if you haven't. Hi. So my ninth grade year just ended, which means that it's time for summertime depression to kick in. Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just wish things would get better. I'm trying to get rid of them, but nothing seems to stay the same. But why deal with that when I could just film a bunch of videos and not have to think about my frightening mental state? Yeah, that's how life works. I decided to do a tour of the sketchbook that I used for my freshman year because I can. <laughs> I did use the sketchbook for art class, but I also just used it for like filling because I can. And I didn't completely fill the sketchbook. I'm still gonna fill it afterward, but I wanted to document what I did through my ninth grade year instead of just filling it. Um, I did paint this cover and then it fell apart and scratched and ripped and a lot. <laughs> this poor sketchbook's been through a lot. So, stickers. I drew all of these, obviously. That's a dinosaur fetus, mushrooms, alien. <laughs> the boogeyman from Nightmare Before Christmas, and a random Nintendo sticker that I found. <sighs> Angel dust, um, yeah. That was a phase, it was a long one. So my art class every day, for the beginning half of the year at least, we had five minutes at the beginning of class to draw a sketch with a prompt that was written on the board every morning. And that one was five red things. These are thumbnails for an assignment we had to do sketches I'm not really sure what this is I just kind of drew it and it took multiple days which I'm not proud of more sketches uh, everything written in pen was her grades which I never actually got a grade on this assignment so I'm not really sure maybe I wasn't supposed to use red or like pens on my sketch I really don't know we had to do a blind contour assignment where we just looked at the person across from us and drew them. I covered up their names. But um, yeah, this was me not looking at my paper and drawing them. This one was a feature focus. We had to focus on a specific part of them and draw that. And then I forgot that we were doing that halfway through and just continued drawing the face. This one was semi-blind contour. Basically, we had to look at a different person and we could only look at our paper when our pen wasn't touching the paper. So like, anytime that I picked it up, I was able to look back down and decide where to start at. These are old from eighth grade. Actually, so is the angel dust thing. Um, I repurposed the sketchbook from my ninth grade year because there was like not much in it. This was also from eighth grade. We love bad anatomy, obviously. This was an assignment where where I had to draw my shoe. We had to just pull our shoes off. That was a not good smelling room. More daily sketches. This was a view from space and it was when Among Us was still popular, so. That's why that's there. This was a second shoe assignment. We had to draw our shoe from a different angle. We weren't allowed to shade or else these would look better, but you know, it is what it is. Here we had to draw our hands. I did a pose from the creation of David, birth of David. I don't remember what it's called, but that one, you know what it is. Fairy tale. I chose Alice in Wonderland. Fish. A girl told me these looked like crocodiles. I had to draw my hand again. I was holding a knife that time, except I wasn't actually holding a knife because I was in school. Wisp. Oh, this was when Inktober started. I did not complete Inktober because I got tired of doing it, but you know. She had us do Inktober prompts as our, our sketches. So yeah. Radio. This was going to be Siren Head, and I was going to do that for radio, but then I decided not to and went for this instead. This was when I started to give up. Six days in, you know, very strong start. Come on. 
This is when I got really tired of working on it. Fancy. And teeth. That's very... Very nice. Um, anyways, disgusting. This is when I started to feel it again, except I did that in two minutes and got yelled at for not using my entire sketch time. Um, slippery. It's a slide into the abyss. Kind of like how that looks. That was referenced off of a picture on Pinterest. I'm really proud of this one. Dune. It's dunes. It, I think it looks nice. Some notes. Armor. It's an armored elephant with a lady riding it. Still pretty proud of that. Rocket. Take her to the moon for me. You know, that's from inside out and I do like how that looks still. More notes. These were taken out of my old sketchbook because I switched sketchbooks in the middle of the year. Storm. It's supposed to be a ship in a stormy sea but it was giving up so you can't really read it that well. Coral. I kind of like how that looks still. This. This is some Over the Garden Wall fan art, because Over the Garden Wall is an amazing show, and if you haven't watched it, you need to, because I've watched it nine times. I'm pretty sure it's, like, only two hours if you watch the entire show in a row, so it's literally like watching a movie. More Inktober. Sleep. You know. Sleep. It's a cat sleeping. Chef. I decided I did not want to do ink anymore. So, there's a ghost person cooking with poison. Oh, right, the poison, the poison for Cusco, the poison chosen specially to kill Cusco, Cusco's poison. That poison? Yes, that poison! More notes. Um, our prompt was outpost, it made me think about, if you don't know, an outpost is where a military is stationed. It made me think about guns, which made me think about Hazel and Cha Cha, so I drew them. I drew Spongebob's ripped pants. Should have gone darker on the values, not very readable. Shading, so, <laughs> there's a funny story behind this, actually. There was a huge ice storm, and so we were out of school. We got online assignments to do because school. My dad had hooked up a generator, and he only really connected it to, like, heaters to stay warm and the freezers and stuff to keep our food cold so that we wouldn't starve, you know, bare necessities. But he did hook up one lamp so that we'd have some semblance of light. He, like, took this lamp and wrap the cord around this lighting fixture that we have and so it looked like this and i decided to do that for my shading project hide this is from dead by daylight it's supposed to be a legion and somebody hiding in a locker it's bad i spent like two minutes on that again also ominous also spent like two minutes on that this is how hazel and cha-cha looked in the comics you're gonna learn throughout the sketchbook i really like umbrella academy this is the original design for a character from my comic. He looks entirely different now. He has a mullet and not a beanie and you know, he's just, he's completely changed. Y'all will see more of him later, but yeah, he's in the comic I'm working on. <laughs> Here's a prompt I never did. I procrastinated and then just decided not to do it anymore. Color notes, drawings of dragons. Here's a bunch of head studies, more color notes. Oh wait, if you pull up this sticky note, eh, I connected these heads. <laughs> this was for a pop art project. Um, thumbnails and notes and stuff. Boring things. Here's a bunch of sketches. I didn't know what to draw, so I was just scrolling through Instagram and Pinterest and just drawing anything that popped up that looked interesting. These are like fry shoes. That's the dude from the Umbrella Academy. This is Trixie Mattel. This was me roughing out what my pop art project was gonna look like. I ended up doing something. I ended up doing this, um, but changing it quite a bit. Basically, it's um, inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, hands. These are hands, and my friend wrote on the page. I put sticky notes over a lot of stuff that I didn't want y'all to see, so. Haha. -ha. But here's just more random stuff. A long Furby. Wings. This is a, like, sculpture thing that somebody did on a skull on my Instagram. This is another base drawing of one of the characters from my comic. She looks exactly the same now. This is her again. Uh, this is the second design for Jonah. This is Lynn, and this is Jonah. They're in love. But, um, yeah, Jonah looks different again. Jonah changed a lot. Legs. This was what the villain was gonna be for my comic, but now her name is Ellie, and she's a woman. More notes. 
This is what my comic characters look like now. They've still changed a bit, but this is basically what they look like. This is Toby and Tobias, they're twins. Jonah and Lynn are dating, and Harper and Natalie are besties. So, and that's the villain, obvious. She's a floating head, so you know that she's evil. Random perspective sketches, bunch of random stuff. Um, these were from Instagram. It was pointing out that sketches look much more interesting if you make the eye line and the shoulder line make a V or a triangle or whatever it is. Random ghost, random dude, demon guy. These two and these four are all from Journey to the Savage Planet, which is a great video game. If you haven't played it, you should. Not much else interesting on this page. This is Harper from the comic again. On this, we were all in the study center instead of in class. I can't remember why. I think maybe the juniors were taking their SAT tests. So we had to like clear the wing. So we were all in the study center and I was just looking around and drawing random people for life study. I don't like Homestuck, that was for my friend. Anyway, I was drawing the seven deadly sins as people. This was a finished drawing of greed. I'm really proud of that still. This was um, my killer concept for Dead by Daylight. There's a lot of stuff covered up on this page. <laughs> a random depressed lady. You know how it is. Um, gay boys. <laughs> this was me. I wrote, I hate this page because I didn't know what to draw. And then after I filled it, I was like, wait, never mind. It's okay. Um, this is Lice. He's a little. Wait, let me get him. This is Lice. He's this little dinosaur that I sculpted in art class. And um, don't ask me why he's named Lice, I have no idea. But yeah, this is him. Anyway, drawing Wraith from Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight's the only game I play, if you can't tell. Owls. This is another thing from Journey to the Savage Planet. There's a pickle, teapot, tons of different sketches. These are three things from a, which this is technically there too, but these are three things from a project that I want to do in the future. Uh, don't worry about it. You might hear more about it later, maybe, if I decide to do it. This is me teaching my friend to draw. This is also from the uh, project I want to do in the future. Don't worry about who he's hugging because it's, it's really important, so it needs to stay secret if I actually do that project. Again, random people that I never finished random monster people. This was uh, sketching for my ed project that I did in art class where we had to take Mona Lisa and make change her completely but still make her recognizable as Mona Lisa. Somebody drew has Bernie Sanders which was really neat. I did um, her as a demon being summoned by a lizard wizard and a scaredy cat. Let me know if you'd like to see my like finished projects that I actually turned in in art class because I like how they turned out mostly. And I don't know if that's something people want to see. Anyway, a bunch of random people. These two are Grunkle Stan. I couldn't remember what his hat looked like, so I just drew something. Her aim is getting better. You see, it's, it's funny because marriage is terrible. Funny. It's funny. Humor. But anyway, here is a collaboration piece I did with one of my friends. I ended up finishing this digitally. Um, you know, they're, they're, um, they're people. They don't need to know much more about it other than uh, this is part of that project that I'm going to be, or want to do in the future. That ever so secret project. This is that character. Their name is Dolly. These are people, that was a drawing of my teacher. Yeah, I did these without reference. No, I referenced that one. That's it though. Um, doodles. More stuff you can't see, and an eyeball because and two bugs. <sighs> my friend drew a furry on my page because they're like that. Random unfinished person. This is a character from my comic. They're an angel. Literally, that's not like a, I like them a lot, they're actually an angel. Anyway, random poses. I was drawing naked people in school, that was nice. Um, this was thumbnailing for another art project that I did. Again, let me know if you wanna see finished art projects. 
This is me drawing my friends. I covered up all their names so that you don't know their names because I'm not posting their names online. Bunch of random object heads. Um, yeah, they're object heads. Notes for my art finals. This is a song, you don't get to read it. That's me again, writing is hard. This is a page that I let just my friend draw on. <laughs> and then, this is the last thing in this book. Um, these two, me and my friends, make fun of Among Us because it's an actual bad game, but yeah. So I drew those to be ironic and then my friend made it fart. My friend drew that. And then I designed a little character, again, for that future project that you don't need to worry about. But yeah, and then that's the last thing in the book. I think. Oh, I let my friend draw on my page again. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that, because it was horrifying for me. And I can't believe I'm actually letting people see this, because I don't ever let people see my stuff. Unless they ask really nicely, and I trust them a lot. Alright, I'm gonna go. Bye. Yes, that poison!